Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm back. This week we got four player games again. We took some old commanders, some new commanders. We're seeing how this new format's turning out. So we have Najila Tempo, Wheelie Bad Riel, Zerta Monolith Combo, and Advantage Thrasios with Akiri. Begin. Draw card, play Command Tower, cast a Chromox. I will imprint Noble Hierarch. Tap the Chromox for a Soul Ring. Tap the Soul Ring and the Command Tower here. And Ajila, pass my turn after that. Draw for turn. Command Tower, cast a Mana Crypt, pass Staff Domination. Pass the Ken. Draw for turn, play Polluted Delta and crack it right away. Boom, Tropical Island. Cast an Avis's Pilgrim. Pass the turn. Draw. I'm gonna play a Mountain, cast a Gamble. Dylan, will you kindly discard one at random from this hand for me? Let's go with this one. Discarding Fiery Islet and passing turn. Untap, draw a card. I think I'll play a Tundra. Cam, I'm gonna come at you with an Ajila and a 1-1 Warrior token. I don't know, man. I can block that 1-1 token over here. Please do. Then I'm gonna cast Imperial Seal. And we'll get this mystery card. That on top. Cast a Llanowar Elves. That'll be my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play a Plateau. I'm gonna cast my commander with one Coalesce Floating. I'll be done. All right. Play a Volcanic Island. Bloom Tender. Cast a Top. Pass the turn. Draw. Wooded Foothills. I will crack it immediately, going down to 39. Get a Volcanic Island. Cast a Fell War Stone. Pass turn. Draw a card. Play a Forbidden Orchard. Cast Derevi, Imperial Tactician. I will enter combat. Tyler, I'm going to come at you with a Najila and a Warrior Token that will trigger my Najila, making two more Warrior Tokens. No blocks. With the four triggers, I will target this Command Tower four times and tapping it for a blue, a red, a black, and a white in between all of those times. And with the Llanowar Elves for green, I will make another combat happen with Najila. I will then attack again, creating many more Najila Tokens at Tyler and many more untapped triggers, all untapping this command tower with Derevi, making infinite combat steps. Are you dead? Turn three is what that was. If every game with Najila went like that, I would never put the deck down. It's clean, it's efficient, it gets the win done. I love it, love to see it. Even though I, I did forget the Derevi ETB trigger on tapping something, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, I still won the game. Game two, let's play. Draw for turn, play Prismatic Vista, crack it right away, getting a basic island. Cast a Codex Shredder. I will also cast a Mox Diamond, discarding an island. Pass turn. Draw. Cast a Gataxian Probe on Tyler. Yep, that resolves. Fuck. Draw a card. I will play a Command Tower, cast a Carpet of Flowers. Pass my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Great Furnace, cast Faithless Looting. Two. Bloodstained Mire, Flood Tran. Go ahead. Draw for turn, play, and fetch off of a Verdant Catacombs, Savannah, Carpet of Flowers, pass the turn. In your end step, I'm gonna activate Codex Shredder targeting myself, mill one. Untap, draw. Chivon Reef, cast a Magus of the Moon. Pass turn. Great, draw a card. Let's use Carpet of Flowers to add a green mana. Then I will play a mountain here. Cast a wild growth targeting this command tower here. Cast Nijila. And I don't hear anything, so I think that means it resolves and I'm gonna pass my turn. Draw. Play planes. Spirit of the Labyrinth. And I'll take up. Tyler, how many islands do you have? One. Okay. Play a mountain. I'm gonna make a white mana with the carpet of flowers. Perfect sequencing. Cast Chromox Exiling Submerge. Smothering Tithe. Pass the turn. In your end step, I'm gonna target myself with Codex Shredder once again. Untap, draw. Tyler, are you gonna pay two mana? That's a fantastic question, Cam. I think the answer is gonna be absolutely not. Great, I have one treasure. Cast a Jace Vrin's Prodigy. Then I'll pass turn. I will draw a card. Would you like to pay two mana? I won't, I won't pay two mana. You may have that treasure. Carpet of Flowers, blue mana. I'm gonna play a Marsh Flats Mountain here. With that blue mana and this red and green there, I will cast a Rhystic Study. Let's go to combat here. Tyler, I'm gonna come at you with a Najila and that'll trigger a warrior, and that warrior is going to come at Brandon. I will block with Magus of the Moon. I'm gonna pass my turn. Draw, I will not pay two. I'm gonna play this Blast Zone. I'll cast my commander, Do not pay for risk study. Cameron, I'm gonna draw a card right now. Are you gonna pay two mana? Nope. I'll attack Dylan for three. Pass turn. Play a Taiga. We are forgetting Carpet of Flowers here, but Carpet of Flowers is going to make me one green mana. I'm going to tap Chrome Mock, cast Thrasios here, Sylvan's Safekeeper, and I will pass the turn. In end step, I will mill myself one. 
Hitting a frantic search. Untap. Draw. Can I get a... You may. Cast my commander. Can I draw a card? You may. Can I get a counter? Yeah. Pass turn. End step. I'm going to crack this Marsh Flats. Get a Plateau. Still an end step. Cast Eladamari's Call. Find a Derevi Imperial Tactician. Untap. Draw a card. Can I get a treasure off of your draw? You may have a treasure. But with that Carpet of Flowers, I'm going to add a blue. Cast Derevi Imperial Tactician. ETB, I will untap my command tower here. Vexing Shusher. And then I'm just going to pass my turn. Draw. Treasure? Yeah, of course. We're going to cast Mana Crypt. I will not be paying for this study. Excellent. Can I have a, a treasure? You may indeed, buddy. I'm going to play Inventor's Fair. I have to pass. At the end of your turn, I'm going to sacrifice a couple treasures, tap some mana to activate Thrasios, put a card on the bottom, reveal, brainstorm, put brainstorm into my hand. Let's go to my turn, make a blue, I'm gonna play a wooded foothill, cast green sun zenith for two. May I draw a card? Yes, may I get a treasure? Yes. Biomancer's familiar. I think I actually have to pass, as awkward as that seems. In your end step, activate Codex Schroeder, targeting myself. Hit a Cyclonic Rift, and I would've liked that. <laughs> um, and I will also activate Jace. Draw. Can I get a treasure? You may. Discard a back to basics. Jace flips. Move to my turn. Untap. Draw. Neg three Jace. I am targeting Cyclonic Rift. I will cast Cyclonic Rift, targeting Spirit of the Labyrinth. May I draw a card? You may. Can I get a treasure? You, you may. Cyclonic Rift is exiled. I'm just gonna pass turn then. End step, I am going to cast Pyroblast, targeting Riel. I will pay two life and cast Mental Misstep, targeting Pyroblast. May I draw a card? You may. May I get a treasure? You may. Cast Flusterstorm. Here's where the wheels are about to come rolling off. Targeting mental misstep with a bunch of Flusterstorms. No response for me. Go to my turn. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask you why you, why you did that, but. <laughs> well, looks like I should pay attention to my cards more and maybe use Vexing Shusher. Okay, that's fun. I will draw a card. Can I get a treasure? I love it. You may. <laughs> how many cards in your hand, Cameron? I have two. Carpet of Flowers, I will target. Cameron, how many islands you got? One. Target you. Add a, a red mana. Play this Arid Mesa. Fetch. Cast Najila, the Blade Blossom. I'm going to send a Warrior Token and a Derevi at Tyler. That's it? Not the Vexing Shusher? You're not going to attack with the Vexing Shusher too? Why would you attack with the Vexing Shusher? It's a free attack. Just attack with the Vexing Shusher. Trigger Najila get another warrior token. No blast. Anyone have anything to do before I go to damage on that? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna be casting Path to Exile on the Revy, paying for a study. Uh, Force of Will, Hitching Swan Song? I am going to Dovin's Veto, the Force of Will. Can I draw a card? No. Use Vexing Shusher to make the Force of Will uncounterable? Cast Brainstorm. Yeah, can I draw a card off of Brainstorm? Yeah, can I get another treasure? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's that. This is close. Well, fortunately, I can't win anymore. Can't win this turn. I can't. Yeah. All right. Right. I can't win this turn. These two back. I'm gonna let that fizzle. So the force of will counters the path to exile, and then these three are coming at Tyler for damage. Yep. So you take two, three, four, and I will uh, untap three permanents here. I'm just gonna pass my turn. I'm playing great. In your end step, I'm gonna pay two with the reduced cost. Add two counters to blast zone. Oof. I am. So erect right now. <laughs> I'm really not thrilled about it. Roll for Mana Crypt, you cheater. Mana Crypt! Mana Crypt! Take three. Play Mana Confluence. I'm sorry I killed your commander, Tyler. I thought I had the math right. I really didn't need to die. I just you were, you were open for attacking. If I could kill your one thing and I only had the Pyroblast. Please understand it was nothing personal. That's okay. I may only be thinking this because I've gotten the cannon list to a place where I like it so much, but I'm going to go ahead and say, I don't think my commander's very good anyway, so I don't really care that you killed it. <laughs> I'm gonna play Dire Feet Daredevil. One floating, not paying for a six study. I'm gonna draw for a six study and I'm not gonna pay. Great, I'm gonna get another treasure. I'm gonna target Frank Search. Cast Frank Search. May I draw a card? Yeah. Draw two? Wow. And tap three lines. I've just been so lucky for it to work. I guess now I'll start paying for a six study. I'm gonna try to cast Gamble. Fuck! Yeah! <laughs> now I get to play a Sunbake Canyon. Oh. At the end of your turn, sacrifice two treasures, activate Thrasios, revealing Noxious Revival to put that in my hand. Fetch, activate Thrasios, Grand Abolisher, activate Thrasios again, reveal Enlightened Tutor. Cast Enlightened Tutor. Can I draw a card? Yes. Can I get a treasure? Yes. Training Grounds. I'm going to activate Thrasios again to put that in my hand. I'll go to my turn then. I'm gonna target Dylan. Use the blue that I'm gonna make from that to cast a Mystic Remora. 
Training Grounds as well. Follow it up with Grand Abolisher too. Play Land for Turn in the form of a Marsh Flats. I have like so much set up over here, but at the same time I have like nothing going on. Cameron, I want I want you to understand that I haven't made a third land drop yet. Right, let's sack a treasure to activate Thrasios. Oh my god. Swan Song. Swords to Plowshares. Cast Swords. Probably Derevi I have to hit here. Okay, may I draw a card? Yes. Can I get a treasure? Yes. Now I will pass a turn. End step. I will mill myself one with Coder Trader. Draw. I will play a Cephalid Coliseum. I am going to plus one Jace targeting... We'll target one of your warriors. Cast... And is it Signet? Can I draw a card off of Mr. Cromar? You may. Can I draw a card off of Rissic City? You may not. Faster. End step. Cast a worldly tutor here, floating a blue with that command tower. Can I draw a card? Yes. Get a fish. We're still in my end step, correct? That's right. Oh, shit. Wheels are coming off. Wheels are off at this point. We're spiraling fast. <laughs> Completely <laughs> Put it in your graveyard. Okay. Yep. That goes into the graveyard. You made my dreams come true, Dylan. I wanted that. <laughs> At least I can so do much. that for you. Draw a card. Can I get a treasure off of your card for turn? You can. In my main phase one, I'll target you, Tyler, and I'll add black mana. Cast a demonic tutor. Can I draw a card off Mystic Remora? Yes. I will find this mystery card. Play a bayou. Cast nature's will. Can I draw a card off Mystic Remora? You can. We got a we got a lot of stuff we have to do. Cast Noxious Revival, targeting Swords to Plowshare. Can I draw a card off for Zick Study? Yeah, can I get a, a treasure? You can. Swords goes on top, activate Thrasios, reveal swords, put it in my hand. Sack a treasure, swords targeting Vexing Treasure. May I draw a card? Yes, may I Smothering Tithe. You may. In response, I will make Nature's Will uncounterable with Vexing Treasure. In response, I will cast Swan song on nature's will can i draw a card no yep so swan song counters nature's will a bird Herb. and then vesting shisher gets exiled and i will gain two life well i'll go to combat i'm going to send this three three Najila at jace and two warrior tokens at tyler and i'll create three more warrior tokens and they will also be coming at tyler sure so i'll take four damage got him you got me twice now bro oh yeah yeah all right so i got some things there play to land i'm gonna have to move to discard forbidden orchard and a watery grave then i'll pass my turn untap upkeep take three damage can i get a treasure off of your draw you may buddy i'm so annoyed i feel like i'm this younger <laughs> sibling that just like keeps trying to bug you can i draw a card can i draw a card can I get this? <laughs> I'm gonna crack some big canyon to draw a card. Can I get a treasure? Sure. Pass turn. Crack marsh flats, a plateau. I'm gonna have a bunch of Thrasios activations here. Mana Vault, Force Negation, Mox Opal, the spell. Wind Swift Heath, put it into play. Go to my turn. Untap everything on my upkeep. Pay a blue to keep Mystic Remora around. Carpet of Flowers makes a green mana. Cast Mana Vault. Also will cast Mox Opal. Wait, can I draw a card off of the last one? <laughs> yeah, can I get a treasure? Activate Thrasios a couple more times. Here's put Pact of Negation into my hand. Transmute Artifact. Pay another mana. Put a card on the bottom. Reveal Neil form. I would like to look at Dylan's hand. Nobody else look. Do you want anyone else to look? No. Can you see? Yes, I can. Interesting. Okay. Draw a card. Activate Thrasios one more time. Now, here is where you became a little too tunnel visioned, I think. Because right now, you're looking for a dramatic reversal on Isochron Scepter, but yeah. you just drew Transmute Artifact and Neoform, which could find you Kinnon and Basalt Monolith. And you don't see that. Mm. No. <laughs> No, I did not see that. Bottom to card, reveal steam vents, put it into play. Tapped, cast Mox Diamond, discarding Flooded Strand. Can I draw a card? Yeah, can I get a treasure? Yeah. Activate Thrasios, put a card on the bottom. Command Tower here, Sensei's Divining Top. Oh, Cameron. Two mana, cast Neoform, sacrificing Sylvan Safekeeper. Oh, the funniest part to me is you go, oh, it's duh, I can Neoform for Kinnon, but you don't put the second piece together that you can go get Basalt Monolith. Let's tap Mana Vault for four. Mox Amber, Pyroblast, a Scepter. Cast Mox Amber. Yeah, I'm not drawing any more cards. Reflecting Swat is in my hand. Abazin's Pilgrim is also in my hand. Green Sun Zenith goes to hand. Waterlog Grove goes to hand. Out of Treasures. Fine Sensor, use the old Lotus Petal. Cast Lotus Petal. Crack Lotus Petal for two blue. Reveal Arcane Signet. And a Confluence. 
So this turned out to be incredibly upsetting. Let's discard a bunch of stuff. Discarding. Arcane Signet, Avon Mind Sensor, Waterlog Grove, Green Sun Zenith, Avacyn's Pilgrim, Seedborn Muse, Arbor Elf, Transmute Artifact, and Sylvan Library. Just get the win out of my hand. I don't even <laughs> want to see it. I don't even want to see it. Why would you win when you can just not lose? Go ahead. Have a treasure. Pass turn. Draw a card. You have two. All right, I'll target you with the Carpet of Flowers. I'm going to add two black. Diabolic Intent. I'm going to sacrifice this swan as an additional cost. Can I draw a card off of Mr. Grimora? You can. I'm gonna get this mystery card. I'll play a Volcanic Island. Cast a Linvala, Keeper of Silence. Pact of Negation. May I draw a card? Yes. May I get a treasure? You may. Linvala is countered. Play Tundra. I'm gonna cast Abrupt Decay, and I'm gonna target Grand Abolisher. Can I draw a card off of Mystic Remora? You may. Swat it to Ajila instead. Yep, okay. Cast a Sylvan Library. Can I draw a card off Mystic Remora for that? You may. Pass my turn. End of your turn, I'm gonna flash an Alms Collector. One tap for my turn. Roll for a mana grip. Taking three. Go turn. Can I get a treasure? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna pass turn. Cameron, free range, buddy. Go at it. At the end step, still. Crack a treasure. Two blue. Use one of them to activate Thrasios. Reveal a land. Reveal soul ring. Force of will goes to my hand. There we go. Dramatic reversal. All right, go to my turn. So I take a damage. Pay for my pact. Isochron Scepter. Dramatic reversal, infinitely cast dramatic reversal. I can infinitely go through my whole deck with Thrasios. I'm gonna draw my whole deck besides the bottom three cards, just in case. So from this point, Cameron has infinite mana, can draw through most of his deck, can either cast all the creatures in his deck and cast Finale of Devastation for a billion and attack us all, or use Time Twister loops, casting any spell that he wants, like a Cyclonic Rift on all of our permanents, and then Time Twistering it back into his library, and then Noxious Revolt with a Time Twister on top, yada, 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 yada. We're all good to scoop at this point. This is a great deck for anyone who likes to hear themselves talk. <laughs> That's exactly why I started playing this deck, actually, because I love hearing myself talk. <laughs> this is also why I had so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the deck for us, buddy. We just love to hear ourselves talk, and I just get to say activate Thrasios 700 times a game. I'm telling you, when there's times when you're doing it 16 times every single <laughs> turn cycle, it's it's bliss. That's so funny in the casually competitive video. Cameron decides that he wants to play a lot of magic. <laughs> And then not only that, after you did that, you still had another turn cycle where you untap with Seedborn Moves, and you were like, nah, it's fine. I got enough. I'm not even going to go through it. <laughs> like, if you haven't seen the recent casually competitive game with Cameron and I on it, uh, we went on. Cameron's playing this deck. I was playing the Gila. It's quite a sight to see. The, the deck just, the Turbo Thrasios is just, if you like watching, just go watch the deck. Draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna go with the powerful play of Planes Go. Ooh, that is a power play. Draw for turn. Play Verdant Catacombs and go to 39, please. Going to get a Tropical Island. Cast a Sylvan Safekeeper. Pass the turn. Draw. Polluted Delta and say go. I'll draw a card. Play Tundra. Cast Mystic Remora. Pass my turn. Draw for turn. Now I'm 10. Cast Grim Monolith. May I draw a card? Yep, go. All right. Play a land for turn. Pay two life. Cast Getaxium Probe. Targeting Brandon. Can I draw a card? Anything you want to tell us, Cameron? Yeah, we're not going to have a lot of lands in a little bit. Draw a card off that. Cast Springleaf Drum as well. Can I draw a card? Yes. Cast Thrasios. Last turn. End step, I will pay one life. Canic Island. Draw for turn. Flooded Strand. Crack that basic island. Is it Signet? May I draw a card? You may. Pass turn. Untap. I'm not going to pay for the fish. Draw a card for turn. Play Marsh Flats. I'll cast a Preordain. One on top, one on bottom. Draw a card. I'll discard a Mana Drain, a Brupticate, and a Timna. Wow, that feels bad. Pass my turn. Untap. Um, I'm going to play a City of Brass. I'm going to try to cast my Commander. And then I will very sadly pass my turn. All right. Uh, go to my turn. Cast Mana Crypt. Seedborn Muse. Pass the turn then. Untap. Me too. Roll. Command Tower. Cast Riel. Cast LED. Sack LED and discard my hand as a cost to generate three red mana. Riel trigger is on the stack. Discarding a Rhystic Study, Muddle the Mixture, Time Twister, Island, and Codex Shredder. Five. Two red. Talisman of Creativity. One red, one blue here. Veral, Chief of Compliance. Pass turn. At the end of your turn, I am going to activate Thrasios. Then on the bottom, reveal Zerda the Dawnwalker. Draw card. 
Play Bayou. Cast Demonic Tutor. I'm gonna get this card, and then I'm gonna pass my turn. At the end of your turn, activate Thrasios. Bottom, Deflecting Swat. Untap, Upkeep, Garage. I'm going to attempt to create infinite colorless mana. Talisman of Conviction. Tarnished Citadel. Linvala. Cam, you got anything for a Linvala? Ooh, geez louise. Yes, I do. Cast Force of Will, exiling Force of Negation and going down to 34. Cast Pyroblast, targeting Force of Will. Well, that sucks. All right, well, that happens. Overall trigger, draw a card, discard a card. Draw a card for real. Linvala in the stack. I am going to activate Thrasios once. Bottom, Birds of Paradise. Pass on Linvala, that shit sticks. Cast Ideal of Tutor. Yes, it's going to be Heliod, but like... Not thrilled about it. Cast Heliod, cast Blood Moon. I have nothing. I'm gonna fetch in response. I'm gonna cast Swan Song, targeting Blood Moon. I'm super into that. I'm gonna cast Mental Misstep for two life. Targeting Swan Song. Barrel Trigger, draw a card. I will discard Chain of Vapor. So I can go at Jalen for three? Go. Oh, I gotta roll for Mana Crypt. I rolled an even. Everything kind of stinks. Cast a Birds of Paradise. Untap. Me too. Draw. Move to combat. Dylan, I am gonna swing at you with a 5-3. Acceptable. Pass turn. Draw a card. Play a mountain. Cast. Najila. Pass my turn. Draw. Play a mountain. Make six mana. Give Linvala lifelink. Go to combat. Dealing for three. Counter on my boy. I think I'm passing my turn for that. Upkeep. Six for mana crypt. Turn. Play a mountain. Blue green for Biomancer's Familiar. Do you notice what you just did there? You tapped the Birds of Paradise for that Biomancer's Familiar with a Linvala out. We missed that here, but luckily we also remembered that Thrasios can't be activated, so Biomancer's Familiar is just a bear that doesn't actually come up or be relevant. Then pass the turn. Untap. Me too. Draw. Play a basic mountain. I'm just gonna pass turn. Draw a card. Pass my turn. Draw. Play a mountain. Make 10 mana. Give Zerda like look. I'll attack Dylan for seven and Cam for five. And I get a counter. Take it. Go to my turn. I got a roll for mana crypt. I rolled an odd. I take three. Cast an arcane signet. Pass turn. Draw for turn. Cast Wheel of Fortune. I respond with a chaos warp, making a bunch of mana, so I'm only paying one red for it. Targeting real. Cast Force of Will, targeting chaos warp, pitching snapcaster mage, losing one life. Cast my dual caster mage. Dual caster mage is good. Chaos warp? Again, trying to target real? Chaos warp result. Brawlin, that seems pretty good with the Wheel of Fortune in the stack. <laughs> so the Force of Will is back in the stack, countering the original Chaos Warp. I get a Brawl trigger, draw a card, and discard a Conflagrate. And then we'll all take one off of Brawlin. I am going to respond to the Wheel of Fortune and cast a Mystical Tutor. Weirdly enough, I'm going to get a delay. Discarding these cards. I discarded zero, so no more Brawlin triggers here. Discard Eladomri's Call, Deflecting Swat, Zerda, and Dramatic re Reversal. I will play a Mountain for turn. Delve seven to cast a Treasure Cruise. Draw three. Move to end step. Cast a Noxious Revival, paying two life. Targeting an Abrupt Decay. Discarding a Misty Mage Force. Go to my turn. Draw a card. Oh yeah, we all take one. Cast a Dockside Extortionist. Is that nine treasures? Cast Abrupt Decay, targeting Blood Moon. Tropical Island, play a Utopia Sprawl. Utopia Sprawl is going to name a Green. We'll spend four mana here. I'll cast a Nature's Will. Cast Dovin's Veto. I will pass my turn after that. Draw me. Start by making a million colorless mana. I'm gonna play Arch of Razka. I'll ascend, I'll have the city's blessing. Uh, so I'll tap the draw card. Play Dire Fleet Daredevil. I'm gonna target the Demonic Tutor. Demonic Tutor is a good one. Pay two colorless mana to cast Demonic Tutor. I just get to put this card in my hand. Gonna take a point of damage and play a Grand Abolisher. Cast a Pact of Negation targeting Grand Abolisher. For all trigger, draw, discard, Faithless Leader. Cast Recruiter of the Guard. Find Walking Ballista. With my million colorless mana, I'm gonna try to cast a 4,000, 4,000 Walking Ballista. Cast Delay targeting Walking Ballista. That is still there. For all trigger, draw, discard a Mystic Sanctuary. For all trigger. I'm gonna cast a Dockside Extortionist. 12 treasures. Give Linvala lifelink. Attack Tyler for four. Put a counter, Linvala. Uh, you know what, I should've done something in the turn, I don't know why I didn't. I'm gonna try to cast Spirit of the Labyrinth. Go. Go to my turn. Oh, I gotta roll for Mana Crypt. I rolled an even. Cast Sensei's Divining Top. Use the floating colorless mana to activate top. Take a peek. Put him back. Kinnon. Akari Line Slinger. A 4-3 with First Strike and Vigilance. I'm gonna play a tapped breeding pool and then I will pass the turn. Untap. Me too. Draw. I'm gonna play a Bloodstained Mire. I'm gonna use Is it Signet to generate red blue and cast a Dockside Extortionist. <laughs> 25 treasures. How about we just do 25? Now what? <laughs> 
I will use seven treasures. Cast a overloaded cyclonic rift. Pyroblast? No response to pyroblast. This is probably wrong, but I'm gonna pay a treasure here and I'm gonna mental misstep that pyroblast. Cyclonic rift results. Here's my thought process. I'm dead either way. There's no way I'm making it out of this game. But there is a chance if the Linvala and the Blood Moon are off the board and Tyler doesn't view me as a threat at all, maybe he'll send some attacks some other way and I can slowly recoup. Five treasures. Cast Riel. Cast Breakthrough. I'm gonna cast it for X equals one. So I will draw four. I will choose this one card. Discard five. So that will be five Riel triggers and five Brawlin triggers on the stack. Move to combat. Shoot me. Shoot me. I am going to swing at Cam for 12 and Dylan for 1. Pass turn. Wait, did you pay for your pack negation? Did you remember the pack negation? Because I didn't. I did, not. I did, did, did anyone at home let me know if you remember the pack negation? Because as I was editing it, I did not remember it until right now. I was like, oh my god, that was this turn cycle? I didn't pay for it. I would have needed to pay for that. I can. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, I am passing. I will draw a card there. I'm gonna play a Mana Confluence here. Play a Utopia Sprawl on this here Bayou. I'm gonna name Red on that one. I'm gonna cast a Dockside Extortionist. 14 treasures, pay three for eight. It's a chump blocking the Gila, and then I'll pass my turn. Draw, I'm gonna start by casting a Mox Diamond, discarding Exotic Orchard, and then, then I will play Ancient Tomb, cast Grimala, and cast Zerda. Tap, Grimala. I'll try to untap Grimala. Cast. Firestorm. Additional cost, discard four cards. Blood Moon Island, Island, Lotus Petal, Zerda, Dockside Extortionist, Najila, and Cameron. I have four Brawlin triggers on the stack. So I die. I am going to untap Grim Monolith. Sure. Tap and untap Grim Monolith so that I have 10 million colorless mana. So then I can cast Dual Caster Mage. So I can choose four targets, Dylan, Tyler, Riel, and Brawl. I will cast Deflecting Swat. <laughs> I will change the targets of the copied spell. One of the four targets at Dylan. Zerda, you, Brandon, another one at Cam. Cam, you're taking four, going to one. Dylan, you're taking four. Zerda is taking four, and you take four. Then, Riel triggers. I'm drawing four. Then, Brawlin triggers, taking four. Cameron's dead. I'm at one. Then, Original Firestorm. Which one of those is facing at my face? Yes. Okay, I'll die. I'm gonna cast Boros Signal. Talisman of Conviction. Mox Opal. Dockside Extortion. 13. I'm gonna try to recast my commander. Dire Fleet Daredevil. Cyclonic Rift. Seven mana to, to overload Cyclonic Rift. Pay one of these to cast Recruiter of the Guard. I'll find Magus in there. play Spirit of the Labyrinth, Invala, Heliod, Magus. I'm out of spells. Go ahead. Draw. A basic island. Cast Dockside Extortionist. I will respond by cracking. Seven treasures? Seven treasures it is. Pay four treasures, cast Brawlin, cast Conflagrate from Graveyard, and as an additional cost, discard these five cards. So I have five Brawlin triggers. She gets five counters. Conflagrate is pointing one damage at Spirit of the Labyrinth, one damage at Recruiter of the Guard, three damage at Zerda, cast Riel from hand. Pass to you. Cast Zerda. Give Linvala a lifelink. Move to combat. I will attack you for three. Put a counter on Magus. Go ahead. Draw. Flashback Faithless Looting. I'm gonna discard Felwar Stone and Fluster Storm. Real triggers. I take two, right? Cast Curiosity targeting Brawlin. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Delay removes the last counter. Cast a zero zero walking ballista. No. Draw for turn. Make a thousand colorless mana. Cast Imperial Recruiter. I'm gonna find Ava Mind Sensor. Just cast it. Give Linvala lifelink. Use the red to activate Zerda. Dawn cannot block. I attack you for three in the yeah, air. Right. Counter will go on Mind Sensor. Yeah, and I have to pass. Draw. Cast Reforge the Soul. Many things are going to happen. Four Brawlin triggers and f and one real trigger. We have to resolve the wheel first. I'm gonna do, I guess, the only thing I can do, right? I'm gonna try to cast Silence. Yeah, Silence resolves. Real triggers. I draw four. And finally, Brawlin triggers. Four damage to you. Draw four for curiosity. Move to clean up step. If you're looking to play Burn in CDH, Riel might be the commander to do it because that was a lot of damage that I took in one turn cycle just from kind of like excess brawling and firestorm and nonsense damage. All right, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. I know this was missed. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs>